Well, greetings from uh, Mawson Station, Antarctica, and uh, what a lovely few days it has been here. it has been an excellent blizzard, and it's uh, dumped uh, a lot of snow the past few days. Uh, no doubt uh, the 140 kilometer winds uh, made a nice mess outside, so I'll have to sort of get the shovel and uh, clear away some of the snow so I can see outside into that lovely uh, place, Antarctica. Why am I here? Why is a strange artist uh, planted down here? Uh, that's a very interesting question. Um, I do see myself as uh, some form of landscape artist and uh, in particular I have had a little bit of a uh, attraction to barren landscapes. Uh, as you uh, well know, Antarctica does barren landscapes really well. So uh, my sickness, my wanderlust, was uh, going to drag me here sooner or later to experience uh, such a beautiful and brutal uh, landscape. I have been uh, uh, travelling for about 25 years and uh, so, uh, also, the, this, this concept of home has become somewhat fuzzy in my head. That kind of makes Antarctica a little bit intriguing to me because uh, Antarctica is nobody's home and uh, uh, therefore it uh, becomes strangely cosy for me. Work that out. Another uh, attraction about Antarctica is uh, what I call the uh, delicious monster uh, concept. Uh, it's a way I describe Antarctica because uh, it does seem to uh, have these fantastic extremes about it. Uh, not only is it magnificent and sublimely beautiful and uh, delicious and seductive, it is also really very hard to live here. And, uh, uh, has the potential to do a lot of damage. Uh, us humans uh, are fairly tropical beasts, so uh, everything is quite complicated down here. Uh, it is a uh, the uh, how would you call it uh, the beauty and the beast uh, of uh, landscape. Uh, uh, it has uh, lashings of uh, both of those things and. Uh, Therein lies my desire to uh, expend a bunch of time down here getting to know both uh, the, the beauty uh, and the beast. It's uh, a fairly ridiculous job, uh, but uh, I'm happy to be uh, busy with it. Uh, in, in the summer of uh, 2002 and 2003, I was uh, spending the summer at Davis Station and uh, I decided uh, to spend uh, the last month there installing this little uh, sculpture garden uh, on the outskirts of the station. Uh, the idea was uh, basically to implant uh, some other kind of visual culture uh, into the station rather than uh, telecommunication, satellite dishes and aerials and blizz lines and uh, other uh, bits and pieces uh, around the station. Uh, I also like the idea of a uh, future expedition as uh, adding to the garden uh, for, to to uh, to make it uh, a little bit more intriguing, and uh, that has in fact happened. I was uh, pleased to see uh, last summer uh, that uh, there's uh, quite a lot of uh, wacky rock totems uh, have sort of sprung up around the garden, and uh, that's uh, that's a good thing. Yeah, I I, I like that idea. Well, so I've been uh, now at Mawson eight months and uh, it's been a fairly demanding and interesting time. Why I decided to winter over here, uh, basically Antarctica is about winter. So uh, in order for me to get some kind of uh, knowledge and understanding about this uh, magnificent place, uh, I really had to do a winter. And... Uh, uh, Whilst I've been here, I've been working on a great deal of uh, uh, mixed media paintings, topics such as uh, nunataks and um, moss and lichen, the uh, fabulous sort of life forms that survive down here. 
uh, blizzard lines, uh, the winter depression, aurora australis, so all of these topics I've uh, tried to translate into uh, my particular type of paintings. And uh, what else have I been doing? Uh, I've been uh, turning uh, space into place, as the geographer Yi Fu Tuana tells me. It's uh, been an intriguing job and uh, fairly demanding. Uh, but in the end, I'm happy and I think it's been worthwhile to do this uh, long haul uh, stint in uh, this uh, delicious monster of a place. But uh, I'll, I'll say farewell now and uh, wish I was in Paris. <laughs>